eventually, after a long time, Mr. Hippie reached the very, very bottom of the staircase. He looked around and saw there in front of him another small area door. Very, very small, but the colour of it was not very, very same. It was red. Mr. Hippie knocked at the door. Oh, sir, said a voice, said, squeaky sort of voice. Oh, sir. Mr. Hippie pushed open the red door slowly. And who do you think he saw? There, sitting on a stool, was somebody who looked exactly like Mr. Hippie. Except that he didn't look happy at all. In fact, he looked downright miserable. As in feeling rather sad. Hello, it's Mr. Hippie. I'm Mr. Hippie. Oh, I indeed sniffed the person who looked like Mr. Hepper, but wasn't. Well, my name is Mr. Miserable, and I'm the most miserable person in the world. Why are you so miserable, asked Mr. Hepper, because I am, replied Mr. Miserable. How would you like to be happy, like me, asked Mr. Hepper. I'd give anything to be happy, said Mr. Miserable. But I'm so miserable I don't think I could ever be happy, he added miserably. Mr. Hippie made up his mind quickly. Follow me, he said. Where to? asked Mr. Miserable. Don't argue, said Mr. Hippie. Then he went out through the very small ever red door. Mr. Miserable hesitated. <coughs> and then followed. Up and up the winding staircase they went, up and up and round and round and up and round until they came out through the yellow door and into the wood. Follow me, said Mr. Hepp again, and they both set off through the wood back to Mr. Hepp's cottage. Mr. Miserable stayed in Mr. Hepper's cottage for quite some time. And during that time, the most remarkable thing happened. Because he was living in Happy Land, Mr. Miserable, ever so slowly, stopped being miserable. The corners of his mouth stopped turning down, and ever so slowly, started turning up and eventually Mr. Miserable did something that he'd never done in the whole of his life and for the very first time he smiled and then he chuckled which turned into a giggle which became a laugh a big booming heart a huge giant large enormous <laughs> And Mr. Hippie was so surprised that he started to laugh as well. Both of them laughed and laughed. They laughed until their sides hurt and their eyes watered. Mr. Miserable laughed and laughed and laughed and Mr. Hippie laughed and laughed. Because they were laughing so much, everybody who saw them started laughing as well. And presently, even the birds in the tree started to laugh because somebody called Mr. Miserable <coughs> who just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> and that's really the end of the story. Uh, except to say, if you, if you feel as miserable as Mr. Miserable, well, you know exactly what to do don't you? Just turn the corners of your mouth, cooling on all your teeth and tooth 
up. Go on. Try it. It's really simple.